guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Silvana here. I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. And um, or today we're gonna do a uh, get back to school, like very simple makeup look. So you can uh, do it like in five minutes before you have to get to work. And I hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, as you guys can tell, I already have uh, my face moisturized, primed, so is my eyes, and then I already drew my eyebrows. Um, please let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do just a video um, by itself for the brows, how I draw them, and how I get them to look on fleek like this. So let's just jump into the video. Um, I'm just gonna go over really quickly the products that I used for the moisturizing and priming and everything. So for moisturizing for the face today, I used the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Kate Glow Moisturizer. And with that, I used the 111 Skin uh, NAC Y2 Pollution Defense Booster. That was to moisturize my face. To prime my face, I used the Touch and Soul Icy Sherpa Primer. pretty filter one those were the products that I used on my face to moisturize my eyes today I used the pharmacy cheer up brightening vitamin C eye cream and to prime my eyes I used the concealer today I used the Milani retouch and erase light lifting concealer in the shade number four medium and to set that concealer in place I used the Rimmel London stay matte powder in the shade 12 buff page for today's makeup look we're using the cap cosmetics day and night eyeshadow palette I'm gonna take the color sand and that will be my transition shade eyeshadow palette because it has a variety of brown colors that you can choose from and also because the shades itself are they're not flaky when they put it on they look really good when you put them on the eyes it also has a good variety of shimmer colors so you can create a lot of makeup looks with this eyeshadow palette I'm then gonna take the color moon dust on my finger and I'll place that all over my lid I like to use my finger for shimmery colors because I feel like that deposits it better on my eyes than with a brush. Then I go back to the brush that I use for sand and I'm just blending around that moon dust color. To line my eyes, I'm gonna take the color Coco. building up the color until I reached that eyeliner look that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes really quickly. I'm gonna start applying my mascara. Before I apply my mascara, I'm gonna go apply my primer really quickly. For my first layer of mascara, I'm using the Tarte Big Eagle Mascara. For my second layer of mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in the shade Black Brown. The waterproof one. To line my eyes, I'm using the Mina Generation Perfect Eye Lip Liner in the shade number 15. This beautiful brown color. And I'm placing that eyeliner on both the upper and the lower water lines. I finished working on my upper eyes. I'm going to go ahead and finish the face really quickly. And for foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup Foundation in the shade 3W1.5 Fawn. For 
for concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade 27S, light medium sand. I like to put it under my eyes and then to brighten the face, I like to use it for the tip of the nose, the bridge, uh, a little bit in the middle of the forehead, the uh, chin and on top of the lip. a blender with the foundation and the concealer because I feel like that blends it even more into the skin which is what I like and it blends it easier into the skin as well I mean I do use brushes sometimes but I prefer a blender to set these products in place I am going back to my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in the shade 12, Puff Beige, and I'm going to set my entire face with it. To set the under eyes, I like to take a little bit on the blender, and I just dab it all over the eyes. And I do the same thing around my cheek area and my nose, because I do have a lot of open pores. So when I dab it like this, it kind of sets the product in place and it, it blurs my open pores a lot more and also I do that for around the smile lines around the mouth the chin and the entire mouth area really and last thing is in the middle of the forehead and like I said I am dapping it I'm not swiping it all over the place because I don't want the foundation or the concealer to move. For the rest of the face, I use a powder brush and I'm also still dapping it. I'm not, like I said, I'm not swiping it all over the place. I am dapping it. To contour my face, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in the shade Tawny. I like to place it literally right under my cheekbone. That's where I like to place my bronzer. Under my chin bone. Around the forehead. Then I take a small brush and I contour the nose around the sides of the nose. And I also like to contour right here. And I like to contour under my lip. For blush, I'm taking the Sleek Makeup Take a Cheeky Peek palette and I'm gonna take the middle shade right here. I like to put it right on the apples and then blend it with the contour in the back like this. To highlight my face, I'm using the Milani Illuminating Face Powder in the shade number 2, Hermosa Rosa. And I like to use that highlighter on the highest points of my face. So I usually put it on that cheekbone right here, on the tip of the nose, on the bridge, on the brow bone, on top of the lip. done so now I'm gonna go back and work under my eyes really quickly finish it and I'm going back to my cap cosmetics day and night eyeshadow palette I will take the color sand again and that will also be my transition shade for under the eye and I'm looking straight as much as possible so I don't bring that color way under the eye I just want it like right up under the eye right here to highlight my eyes, I'm using the color Starlight. I'm going to put that on the brow bone and in the inner corner. I'm 
go ahead and apply mascara under my eyes using the same products. The eyes are done, face is done. Only thing that's left to do is the lips. I already have my lips moisturized and as usual I use the Alme Age Essential Lip Treatment with the SPF 30. And with it I also used a lip oil. This one is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply the lip gloss. And for lips today I'm using the Haas Laboratories Lip Gloss in the shade Le Riot. simple for school. Please don't forget to tag me in recreations if you do recreate this. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share with your friends. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. I post every single week so I don't want you guys to miss out. Thank you so much for the support. I do appreciate it and I'll see you guys in my next video. By the way guys, I do my nails myself. So if you guys want me to make a video on how I do my nails, kindly let me know in the comments down below and I will do a video just for my nails.